we're recording. Oh, that's better. Good morning, friends, and welcome to day 19. 19. I basically am in the mood to just sort of stare at the wall and drink coffee all day. So uh, we're all in this together. I've been thinking about the vulnerability of artists, how incredibly brave it is to share work with people, especially if you've not been paid for it. I say that because, you know, there's something about people paying for your work that gives you the affirmation, the confidence that it's wanted. I've just noticed that there's a lot of negativity surrounding people who want to make or share or create things in this time and I just want to squash it because no one's making people feel bad for not making work. So why are we making people feel bad if they are making work or sharing it? And I just think there needs to be grace and I think there needs to be encouragement to do either of those things. And to be honest, there is always an audience. So there's always someone who might need to see what they've made. And I was just thinking that today the daily prompt would be to go and encourage someone who is making something and putting themselves out there. So maybe if you are a churchgoer, you can go and encourage the person who is putting together your amazing Sunday streaming service. Go and encourage them, say, hey, well done. I really, I, I get a lot out of that. Or maybe there's someone whose workouts that you're following every day. Go and send them an encouragement. Say, thank you so much for what you're doing. and all that jazz. Maybe there's, there are people who are posting poems or photographs or recipes. Like there are so many people doing incredibly fun things. Go and encourage them. I mean, there's someone I know, my friend Brad is doing a game show and I love that. It's bringing joy to people. I say this because yesterday I got back a piece of work that I have been working on for a long time. And when I got it and I started looking at it, I, the first, my first response was, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. I'm really proud of this. I'm proud of everyone involved. This is great. And then I started to pick it apart. And then I started to spiral. And then I just felt exposed. And I know that I'm not the only person who feels like that. Sometimes when I post a video on here, I'm like, oh yeah, brilliant. And then you're like, oh gosh, make it stop. But part of the reason I do this is because there are people stuck at home who've sent me a message and say, hey, what you post every day makes me feel calm or it, it, it gives me something to look forward to. And that makes it worth it. So please, please, please go and encourage people who are making stuff at the moment. And this segues on to today's video by today's wonderful artist. I say this because um, Anna Maria is a, an amazing artist, an amazing actor and musician. And we went to the same drama school, but we didn't actually meet at drama school. We met at an extras filming situation in London. I was still at the Bristol Old Vic and she was just so encouraging. And every time I've bumped into Anna or had any kind of like interaction with her, she's always taken me up in my lift, in my spiritual lift, as we say. She always makes me feel um, encouraged or safe and secure and seen and championed. And I just think that's an amazing quality in a person, but also in an artist. We're not in competition with one another. We are together in this. Anna has sent, an, um, uh, she sent a couple of videos of her um, playing music and it just brought such a smile to my face because her, even her work, is full of joy and encouragement. And so, yeah, here's Anna. Follow along, send her some love and encouragement because I'm sure she needs it too. And have a very happy Friday. Let's make our Friday feeling an encouraging feeling. See you tomorrow.
so that you won't fly away. Is back. I hope you feel it. Well, can 